See? Hello, Ted. You're on TV. <laughs> i got to go out and check the temperature and see how cold it is right now. what we got. Ooh. We got like 30 degrees? Yeah. I'd say it's 30 degrees. Close enough. Call it 30. Looks like 30 to me. Starting mileage. 43407.7. 4-3, 4 oh, Tiring day at work today. A lot of time changing ballasts and light bulbs. In the main church we have over 400 light bulbs and over 100 ballasts. So it's like a never-ending process. They're always needing, something's always needing replaced. And the problem is uh, lately, there's a church right there. You can probably see we've still got some projects being worked on. Um, there's some tarps and stuff like that because they're doing some brickwork up above. <clears throat> and you can see the nativity scene out. We're getting brand new ballast, but they're not lasting as long as I would really like because I can recall now after a year's time we're changing a few of the ballasts that I changed a year ago and typically when I started changing the ballast the ones that I was changing oh there's some big holes there were original ones that seemed like even going back to the original time of the church in 1970, I mean, they were very, very old type of ballasts, and they were just going bad now, so we got like 40 years out of some of them, whereas some of these new ones, we're only getting about a year out of them, and I'm not liking that too much. I remember at work when I was uh, an apprentice electrician for a couple of years, and basically that meant 90% of my time was... Uh, either helping another electrician or I was in one building changing nothing but fluorescent light fixtures and ballasts and uh, although the ballast seemed to last pretty reasonable my boss got this deal on these Phillips bulbs out of Mexico for a buck a piece which was like a quarter of the cost of the nice GE bulbs we had before and in that case I noticed after even two weeks I thought I was changing out some of the cheap ones that I'd put in two weeks before, so I started writing down and keeping track of when I installed them. And for a while, the boss still insisted on uh, thinking he was saving money by buying these dollar a piece ones instead of the $4 GE ones. He's buying these dollar a piece Phillips ones. And finally, after buying case after case after case, because I was going through them, look at he split because they just weren't lasting. I think the GE bulbs would last us. Now this building was used a lot, so it's not gonna be like your typical residential use. So I would say even the best GE bulbs would last about two years. But I mean, two years versus two weeks for the Phillips bulbs, I mean, yeah, maybe you could show the accountant that we're only paying a buck a piece for them, but I mean, my gosh, to be equivalent, they would have to last six months on average. And I don't think they were lasting that. I think. I'm not saying two weeks was the average, a lot of them would go out in two weeks, but I don't think the average was even going a month and a half, so maybe six weeks, so it's just not worth it to pay a cheap price for something if you're just not getting any kind of quality for it. And this summer I called up our supplier that we buy our ballast from at church just to ask him if there was anything, even if we could pay a couple of bucks more a piece for, just that would be better quality, and they basically didn't have a good answer for us. In fact, they couldn't even find any 
ballasts made in the USA. They were all made in China, and they just had various names stamped on them. And I'm kind of suspicious that if we just switched to another brand of ballast, we'd just be getting a different label on the same one made at the same place. So I don't know, that does kind of frustrate me when you're willing to pay the extra for quality and you just uh, can't find it at any price because nobody bothers to manufacture it. But I guess that's the way it is nowadays. I was thinking about that about jeans one time too. I was buying uh, every different brand of jeans to try to see if I could get ones to last more than maybe a year or two maximum. Like I used to have jeans that would last 10 years because the material was just so nice and heavy duty that they would eventually wear through but it would take 10 years to do it whereas nowadays I just keep uh, looking at how thin and how little material there is actually in the denim that they just don't seem like they're made to last more than a couple of years at the most especially if you wear them quite often I mean I suppose if you buy like about six pairs and alternate off to last a little bit longer that way So, almost home now, and we will get the ending mileage. Ending mileage, 4-3, 409.7, 4-3, 409.7.